Man United's first exit confirmed in ruthless shakeup after Sir Jim Ratcliffe's approval. Manchester United have undertaken a major shakeup of their medical department. United Dr. Gary O'Driscoll, the club's head of sports medicine, has overseen a review of the setup with the blessing of manager Eric Ten Hag and Sir Jim Ratcliffe that has led to a member of the physio team departing the first team setup as United want to improve every aspect of the club. United have endured a crippling injury list this season which has affected form and performances with big names missing like Luke Shaw and Lissandro Martinez being key absentees. O'Driscoll is regarded as one of the best in his field and was a major coup for United when they appointed from Arsenal. He has been given license to look at the setup and has undertaken a full review and wants to improve performance. A senior physio will depart on an amicable basis with more changes to follow. The changes have been planned even before British billionaire Ratcliffe arrival, but Inyo's were consulted and have been supportive. Radcliffe has agreed to buy a 25% stake, and they have already made a strong statement after announcing Omar Barada as their new chief executive from the summer after managing to poach him from Manchester City. Radcliffe's Lieutenant Dave Brailsford is highly respected throughout sport and is known for building high-performance standards. Brailsford will be heavily involved and was credited with overseeing dramatic improvements at Team Sky's elite cycling setup. He is well regarded throughout sport and has a reputation for building a strong team of experts around him who are the best in the field as well as developing a strong siege mentality. There has also been a very noticeable step up in training levels with players insisting it has never been better under Ten Hag with standards improving since the Ineos deal. Radcliffe's deal is likely to be rubber stamped next month and interim chief executive Patrick Stewart held a staff call with employees this week to underline some plans for the club. In other news, Manchester United make first move for Karim Benzema. Manchester United have reportedly made their move to sign Karim Benzema, who is looking to leave out in a hat on a temporary basis. Anthony Marshall injury. The Red Devils and Eric Ten Hag have been short of goals this season, with every side in the top 14 in the Premier League scoring more than United's tally of 24 from 21 games. Therefore, the need for attacking reinforcements seems clear, especially with Anthony Marshall struggling for game time and form. Netting just once in the top flight, the 28-year-old is out of contract at Old Trafford in the summer and it has now emerged that the forward is set to be out for 10 weeks after surgery on a groin issue, with a Man United statement reading, Manchester United striker Anthony Marshall has completed successful surgery to address a groin complaint and will be out of action for about 10 weeks as he rehabilitates. We wish Anthony a speedy recovery and look forward to his return. Therefore, the need for a short-term striker solution to help Rasmus Hodgland for the second half of the season appears to be clear, and it looks as if Sir Jim Ratcliffe and co. are wasting no time in searching for a new marquee attacker. Man United open Karim Benzema talks. According to reports in Spain, relayed by Sport Witness on Wednesday, the Red Devils are in talks with Benzema's entourage over a January deal, with the Frenchman looking to leave Saudi Arabia on a temporary basis. The ownership of Al Ittihad have not granted the 36-year-old's request, though, but it is added that discussions are continuing and Benzema's entourage are talking to various clubs, including Manchester United. Benzema is thought to be on a whopping £200 million per season salary in Saudi Arabia after leaving Real Madrid last season, so you can see why Al Ittihad would want to keep hold of the 2022 Ballon d'Or winner. Goals have continued to flow for the legendary striker in the Saudi Pro League contributing to 17 goals and 20 appearances for his current employers. However, the Premier League is a competition that Benzema has never played in throughout his career after long stints at Lyon and Real Madrid, so he could well be open to a short-term deal in England with United. If that is the case, then Ten Hag could be getting the best number nine in the world, as Benzema was dubbed by former manager Zinedine Zidane back in 2018. I know what a player Benzema is, everyone knows it. The number of goals he's scoring is incredible. I made up for him. Everyone can have their opinion on who is the best number nine in the world, and for me it's Karim. He is confident, he knows you can always improve too, which is great. It doesn't surprise me what he's doing. If you enjoyed the video make sure to smash the like button and make sure to subscribe to Man United Hub to get all the latest updates.